Now, we are going to see problem solving using bar models that is subtraction models. The sum is a subtraction model. S U B T R G A C T I O N subtraction models. So, from the subtraction model, we are going to do the first sum. From the subtraction model, we are going to do the first sum. Let's start the problem. First question is, the teacher was checking the max homework notebooks of class 4. The teacher was checking the max homework notebooks of class 4. So, the teacher um, checked the class 4 notebooks. Okay. Next, she had 43 notebooks to check. So, she has to check 43 notebooks. So, in number of students in the class is 43 students. So, she has to check what? 43 notebooks. Otherwise, there's given us she had 43 notebooks to check. That means she has to check 43 notebooks. Okay. So far, she has checked 17 notebooks. So, she has already checked only 17 notebooks. So, how many more notebooks does she have to check? So, remaining notebooks, how much? Or how many notebooks she has to check the remaining notebooks how many how many remaining notebooks has to check by the teacher this is the uh, question this is the explanation of the question so uh, this is the exact uh, explanation of the question I'll repeat once again uh, that is the teacher want to check the class 4 max class work, uh, sorry the teacher want to check uh, class 4 max homework notebook the teacher want to check class 4 max homework notebook so number of students in the class is 43 students so 43 max homework notebook she has to check okay the first point and second she has already checked 17 max homework notebooks so how many notebooks has to check that means remaining notebook how many remaining notebooks how many is how many remaining notebook has to check by the teacher this is the <coughs> question they asked you okay so max homework notebook to check max homework notebook to check that is class 4 that is how many notebooks 43 notebooks max homework notebooks that is to check max homework notebooks to check by the teacher that is 43 notebooks in class 4 and notebooks to check that is I've told you very clearly 43 notebooks has to check by the teacher so check notebook only 17 one seven so remaining how many notebook has to check by the teacher that is yet to be checked yet to be checked so what you're going to do so 43 minus 17 you have to from the 43 notebooks she has actually she has to uh, check or she has to what correct 43 notebooks but she has to uh, she has completed she has already checked only 17 notebooks so from the number of students that is number of students is 43 and number of notebook is 43 so from 43 she has to subtract sorry we sorry we have to subtract 17 notebooks so 43 minus 17 so what you get so 3 minus 7 it is not practically possible to what subtract is not enough to subtract so you have to borrow this is ones and tens so i have to borrow from tens i have to borrow one ten from this four so what i'm going to do so uh, this four become three so this three become what 13 because i borrow only one ten so 10 plus 3 you can get 13 now it is a bigger number seven is a what smaller number 13 minus 7 i've already told you it's a backward counting you have to start backward counting after 7 up to 13 after 7 up to 13 that means 8 9 10 11 12 13 so 6 is the number exactly and your 3 minus 1 so 3 is a greater number 1 is a smaller number 3 minus 1 you can get 2 that is answer is 26 so you have to what is the yet to be checked how many so that is 26 notebooks so answer is 26 notebooks notebooks that means notebooks means max what max homework notebook okay max homework notebook are yet to be are yet to be checked are yet to be checked are yet to be checked so this is the exact answer that is 26 notebooks this is the exact this is the exact answer for the 
questions. 26 is the right answer for the question.